Hey, what is up? And today we'll be learning something really awesome. Now, vocal enhancement is a really big topic and I'm gonna try to cover it as fast as possible in this video so it's not gonna extend to like five episodes. So today we'll be learning how to apply correct effects to the vocal and make it really sound awesome and you know, massive and atmospheric and everything that everybody loves so you know most people think that adding a reverb to your vocal is all you need to make it better but there's a lot of more effects that require to make a really good sounding vocal so today we'll be learning that and this is the preview that i prepared for you this track is from my upcoming ep uh it's called this life featuring Anya Glass. Now, this is the vocal with the effects and everything. My heart beats setting a melody And this one's letting go of the old me I finally reached my seventh sky that's why I'll never give up on this life. Alright, so now this is how it sounds with no effects whatsoever. My heart beats setting a melody. You get the point. So, yeah, it sounds not horrible, but it sounds really, really dry. There's a lot of you know, wind blowing in the microphone because she doesn't have a pop filter and you know, the things on the microphone. And there's a, w there's a lot of ways how to fix that problem now. As you can see in the mixer, <clears throat> I have a, quite a few plugins here. I have an EQ, I have a multiband compressor, I have another compressor, a picture, Maximus, and Reverb. Now I'm going to go through every single sound that I have here. I'm not sound plugin and really cover the basics of enhancing vocals. Now, Basically, what I did here My heartbeat setting. is I removed the low end a little bit to remove that unnecessary, you know, noise and boosted up the highs just a little notch. And this thing, what is this thing? Now, basically, uh, just look at these places here. My heartbeat setting. As you can see, there's quite a lot of like really in your face reddish kind of lines. My heartbeat setting a melody. Now that's all of the unnecessary decibels that we need. Now what I do is I just use the the, the scroll thing on your mouse. Is it called scroll? I don't know. Um, and uh, you know put it to the maximum like this and just kind of decrease it where the reddish kind of lines are. My heartbeat setting a melody. So before and after. My heartbeat said it. My heartbeat. You know, it sounds already a little bit cleaner. Now, what I have, this is my favorite plugin whatsoever. Now, this is the multi band compressor. You can hear pretty much everything in here. Now, the main things that I mess around with, with is the gain here, and here, and here, and all of these buttons here. Now the high band is the same thing as you know, this thing, but a little bit different now. Look how it changes when I go uh, more up. My heartbeat setting. My heartbeat setting. So don't put it like My here. Heartbeat. I mean, if you're going for an effect, then sure, but usually I put it to around like two-ish. My heartbeat setting. The gain is kind of down My here. My heartbeat setting. A melody and the low band the bass I just decreased it a little bit so it was here my heartbeat and I put it to like here my heartbeat setting then mess around with these too much just put this a little bit backwards and this one here my heartbeat setting a melody just like a little filter almost now the compressor, what does the compressor do? Now what I do here is I just you know boost up the gain a bit to make the vocal sound a little bit more louder. My heartbeat setting. Put the ratio to around 
and threshold. Check out check, check out what the threshold does. It does make it more cleaner, but you know the more you put it, then uh, you, you literally don't feel the vocal. So. 15-ish. My heartbeat setting, a melody. And put the, the type to soft, so it's really not, you know, not like really crispy, but kind of pleasant on the ear. And then mess around with any of these buttons here. Now the picture is sort of like auto-tune. You might think auto-tune is unnecessary when a singer can sing, but you know, trust me, every single pop musician, pop singer, whatever, you know, they still use autotune in the voices, even if they're great, uh, you know, singers. They use a, at least a little bit autotune, 100%. So, what I did here is I lowered down the fine tune a little bit, so, you know, it makes her voice a little bit deeper, because it was a little bit too high. Right My here. So, check out the difference. My heartbeat said it. You know, so I put it to like to what was it twenty? Yeah. My heartbeat said it. Of course, the gender to uh, female, and the speed to medium. Now look what the difference is. My heartbeat said. My heartbeat said it. Okay, you can see how you know how much it like does that. You can really hear that the um, what's it called auto tunish effect when it's at fast. My heartbeat said it. So I put it to a decent amount to like medium. My heartbeat said it. So it's not in your face. Now Maximus, I use Maximus for one reason only, and it is is to remove uh, all those pops and S's and you know P's and in the vocals, so it's not popping in your in your ear really badly. Now what I did is I went to the presets here, and shows DSing narrow band. Just went to the middle. And decrease this thing up a little bit here. My heartbeat setting a melody. That's pretty much it. So the final final touches is I took a reverb and put it to the default setting. Put the wet to like ten. My heartbeat setting. Because I hate when people use too much reverb in their vocal. Uh, there's a, there's not a way to make it more atmospheric. You need to use a lot of reverb for your freaking vocal. So yeah, it's decreased the dry a little bit to like well, what is it, 95. Boosted up the decay a little bit. The high, uh, the what's it, low cut. My heartbeat setting. So right here, it's kind of adds almost bass in here, but. Here, put higher My like this. Heartbeat setting. And uh, increase the damp a bit. Increase the damp a bit here. My heartbeat setting. A melody. Decrease this little bit. My heartbeat setting. A melody. So that was pretty much it. See in the part two where I'm gonna teach you a really cool technique how to even make your vocal pop up even more and how to make it even more atmospheric. There's a really awesome technique with the reverb. So yeah, see in the part two and thank you for watching. See ya in the next one. Peace. Boom.